Dodgeball, a true underdog story. It's directed by Roshan Marshall Thurnbull. I think I pronounced the director's name. I do apologize if I pronounced that incorrectly there. And the film stars Vince Vaughn and Ben Stiller. The film follows a group of unlikely misfits who enters a Las Vegas dodgeball tournament in the hopes of winning $50,000 to save their cherished local gym from being taken over by a corporate health fitness chain, Global Gym. Now, when it comes to dodgeball, this is the film that I grew up with. This film came out 20 years ago, which... Quite surprisingly, that film came out, wow. And this film is really like a, one of those typical underdog come of age story type of thing we've seen millions of times. But this one is really, really charming, really funny, but also has the right tick the boxes when it comes to comedy and also underdog stuff. I think what this film did right is the comedy. I think the comedy of this film has marked it down to the level of funniness, but also knows when the, the sea stuff comes in. It's hilarious. All around, the cast is great. I really love the cast. Vince Vaughn, um, likeable actor. He does drama and also does comedy as well. Well, it depends what comedy he does. Sometimes he's hit and miss when it comes to comedy. But Vince Vaughn does have some funny moments, does have some neat charm. And of course, he plays Peter Lafleur, who is down in his mortgage. He has to pay up his st stuff for his bills and, of course, his understaff in his own gym, Average Joe's. And of course, he has to pay out like $50,000 to his rival, White Goodman, who works in Global Gym, which Ben Stiller as White Goodman is probably the highlight for me. He's really funny. He has that sneak charm to this character, but he's really over the top, but he doesn't do it for the sake of just being over the top. It's the right amount of balance of being funny, but also has that weird personality of him. Especially he gives out some funny lines, especially towards Kate when he's making her feel uncomfortable, which, funny thing is, Christine Taylor and Ben Stiller are both married in real life, which, quite surprised, I just looked it up, they both were married in real life, and quite surprisingly they are. I think it was around the time they got married when this film came out, maybe just before that, but yeah, they were in this film together, and Basically, Mike Goodman's trying to ask her on a day, and of course, she's been dressed a couple of times. Of course, he said this funny one line where he said this line like this. Woohoo! You like the freaky stuff, huh? That's cool. Well, that can be naughty too. Real freaky naughty. Ooh. Honestly, that line cracked, cracked me up. I am not gonna lie, that just kills me. Um, there's so many great characters, and there's just so many funny moments. There's so many other characters like, for example, from the Average Joe's team, especially with Alan Tudyk, who plays Steve the Pirate, who is basically, he thinks he's a pirate. Now, Alan Tudyk, he's done a few voice acting roles. He does a few things here and there, but I will say he's actually not too bad in this one. He's just a typical guy. He's seen one before, but I thought that was pretty hilarious. That's just basically me. But he has some funny moments. Justin Long as Justin, who is a high school student and a regular customer at Average Joe's. Basically, he's a high school loser. And of course, he likes this girl. So basically, he likes this cheerleader girl named Amber, who has become who is his crush and who became his wife at the end. Which I thought that was pretty good. You know, they both have that high school crush going on there. And of course, you do have that one scene with him. He's tried to... Anticipated doing the cheerleading for the donkeys or some competition. This is an overweight huge girl which is humongously fat and of course Justin has to lift her up. And of course he couldn't control lifting her weight. Basically she drops down on him and basically landed on his face on her. You know what? Without me showing it or showing the images because let's just say very inappropriate. I'll just put that in the most positive way. There are so many good characters in the Average Joe's team. Of course, Global Gym has some interesting ones. The character's name is Owen and basically he's trying to find a girlfriend but he's not getting luck. And of course, he ends up falling in love with this Global Gym character named Fran Skodododovich. I can't even say the word correctly. Who's basically a professional dodgeball player from Romania. Romania, I think it is. Or she's playing for Global Gym and of course, 
Oh, it ends up falling in love with her, and then everyone's like, what? Oh, no way. And then Owen just ends up liking her for all her reasons, which I will admit, it was, a, it was a nice moment. They both end up liking each other. And of course, we do have some of these TV presenters at the Las Vegas Dodgeball because we've got Jason Bateman is in this movie, which quite surprisingly he's in this movie. I'll watch, watch this now, means you go, oh, this actress in this. I never realised now, which is kind of hilarious, which is good. I like that. <laughs> My favourite character in the film, it has to be Patches, Ulahan, played by Rip Torn. May God rest your soul, Rip Torn. Basically, he's an old dodgeball coach and he became Average Joe's coach, which I will admit, that was a nice moment, especially trying to train him. And of course, he starts throwing wrenches and try to push them to the limit, which I thought that was really funny, which was enjoyable. Especially throw a wrench or a spanner at Justin's eye and hit some, which I will admit is hilarious. I will admit that still cracks me up to this day. <laughs> you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? There's so many iconic moments in Dodgeball. There are some funny moments and so many great stuff in here. I just think this film is just hilarious and the story is very good, very unique. It is pretty much what you've seen before in certain movies like. Uh, underdog story that tried to get through, try to challenge and become their top leagues, which I thought that was really hilarious. And it does have some great moments. The characters have their own arcs, and basically, it's just brilliant. I just love it. Dodgeball, I would say, is probably the most funniest films I've seen. It's been 20 years since it came out, and I still love it to this day. So I would say Dodgeball definitely deserves an A minus. Oh well, guys, comment down below and tell me what do you think of Dodgeball. A true underdog story. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Of course, hit that icon bell for more future videos like this. Until next time, see ya!